All right, we're inside the Binance Exchange here. Very, very, very easy to use in my opinion. The easiest. So, it's a little bit of a bad example because I do not have anything in my Coinbase account at the moment. But, let's say if I did, let's say if I had Bitcoin in here, I can just send this Bitcoin over by going to Accounts, and I'm going to go and hit Send. But the part that confuses a lot of people is that most people now don't have a lot of Bitcoin. They have a lot of Ethereum, or they have a lot of Litecoin. So you probably have a lot of Ethereum and Litecoin. So what you do, and again, just try to follow along with me for scale here. You go to Ethereum. Say you want to move, I don't know, $1,000 of Ethereum out of here because Coinbase, again, is the place where you buy it all and store it. So say you want to move $1,000 out of here, all of Ethereum. All you do is you go to Accounts. You go down to Ethereum, hit send, and it's not going to do it because I don't have anything in my account, unfortunately. But when you hit send, a box is going to pop up right here. And it's going to ask you for the address. And you're going to have this long piece of uh, script. It's like a lot of you know, a lot of letters and numbers all in one line, and I'd say it's probably about 30 or 40 characters long. So we're going to go back over here. We're inside my Binance account exchange. I don't really care um, that the money that I have in here is showing. Um, I like a lot of the things I have. The top three things I have I believe in the most, and I have a whole ton of coins of all of them, especially Tron, which is on fire right now. So how I'm going to do this, when I want to put Ethereum from Coinbase, right? When I want to put Ethereum into this account, I'm going to go to Deposits and Withdrawals. I have this box checked because everything that I've bought or sold or any activity has that. Make sure this box is not checked. So when you find Ethereum, just type ETH, it's right here. So, when you get there, you want to deposit Ethereum into Binance. You want to deposit Ethereum into Binance. See so the deposit? And this is that address I was talking about. So, all you do is you just take this address, copy it, go back to Coinbase, and again, you can either do this step before like I did or after right now, and you just hit send, hit send, box pops up, you just paste that in the address, and then it asks you how much you want to send, and you're able to click on the box, and you can choose max, so say if you have like $3,000 worth of Ethereum in your account, you choose max, send all of the Ethereum through to uh, Binance. So say you hit send, it's going to give you a confirmation with a green check right here. And then the next thing you do, go back to Binance. The first thing I always do is I go up to funds. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. First thing I always do is I go to orders, order history. In here, it's going to say at the top, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going to go back to funds. Orders is what you do inside the account. That's what I'm going to get to next. I apologize if I'm confusing. Go to history here. And you can see that Ethereum, Litecoin, and again Ethereum 
were all transferred, like I just showed you, from Coinbase into here. And these are completed transactions. And it usually takes about 10 minutes exactly for this to be complete. And when you come from Coinbase and you've got the green check mark, you can go back here and I would go to this page, Funds, History, and what you're going to be looking for is at the top, it's going to be in yellowish gold writing, just like the Binance symbol. And it's going to say either pending or completing. It actually says completing. This says completed. It says completing when it's going. And again, you're going to be getting emails, uh, text messages, everything. Um, and it's going to be telling you that Binance just, uh, or First, you're going to get an email, Coinbase sent Ethereum. Then you're going to get an email that Binance accepted uh, or, you know, was deposited Ethereum. So, after you keep refreshing this, refreshing this, and this says uh, completed. Okay, great. Now your funds are in here. So, at that point is when I would go to this right here. Click that, and what's going to happen is down here, you're going to see in order, you're going to see that pending for the amount of Ethereum that you sent over. And usually if funds was already uh, completed, what you're going to see is... Um, you're going to see that it's not going to be here anymore. It's already going to be in available balance. So, again, now that you have the Ethereum in your account and it's transferred, that's great. Um, this is what really gets most people. This is the tricky part. People think that, like, oh, how can I, you know, change Ethereum into, uh, you know, let's just say Tron. Okay, we're going to use, or actually, you know what, because we've been talking about XRP, we're going to use XRP Ripple as an example. So now that I see the Ethereum in my account, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Exchange, then I'm going to go to Basic. Under Basic, I am going to go to ETC. Now, don't let this confuse you. What we're doing is we're converting your Ethereum TH, I'm sorry. We're converting your Ethereum to Bitcoin. A lot of people are thinking, oh, let's just put it over to Ethereum. No, don't even bother with that. Keep it at Bitcoin, right here. Ethereum, when you search it, it comes up as Ethereum BTC. What you want, what you're what we're working with is first, and then BTC is always last. So click this. I always check over here, ETC, okay. Now, what you need to do is you're inside of your account, you're inside of your exchange. So you need to sell all or part of your Ethereum. And once you just sell it inside, it becomes like a big credit inside of your exchange and you can buy other things with it. So the first step here is Ethereum. What you're going to do is you're just going to come right down. You're going to see that, okay, sorry, let me move this up a little bit. Right here, under total, So right here under total, you're going to see that it converts to BTC. So when I sell Ethereum, it just goes back into the exchange. I hit amount, and it's always going to tell me the max amount, which is cool. I always select it, but then you can sell 100% of the max amount. You can sell 75%. 
50%. So if I know I'm coming in, I just transferred over Ethereum and I want to buy uh, TRX, which is Tron, and XRP, which is Ripple. I know they, they set this up like this because they say, okay, I want to sell off all my Ethereum and I want to get And I'll, and I'll show you in the buy step. But what I would what I would recommend is put all of your Ethereum, sell all of your Ethereum here. It's going to say, okay, you know, whatever your balance is, probably like point eight something, if it's like two thousand, three thousand dollars, or eight thousand dollars, and it's going to convert it to Bitcoin. And what you're going to do is you're going to hit sell Ethereum right here. And it's going to say fail. It's going to say please have to sell it here. But when hit it, it says green check mark success. And at that point, your Ethereum goes into, now I'm going to make the screen bigger. At that point, your Ethereum goes back into the exchange in general. So now, I can stay inside of this view and say I want to get Tron, or say I want to get XRP, I can select XRP right here. I'm inside of XRP. So now what I want to do is I want to buy XRP here. So I'm going to bump this back up. I want to buy XRP. So it's going to show me, because I converted that Ethereum to Bitcoin, it's going to show me my balance in Bitcoin right here. So I click on amount to buy for XRP. There's going to be a, a big amount that comes up. Because Ethereum is way, way more valued than, than XRP, you're going to see, you know, 3,000, 4,000. So this is the step that I was talking about. If you come in here, you want to sell all your Ethereum like you did right here, but you want to get XRP and TRX, then this is a cool feature right here because what you can do is you can say max amount, but then hit 50%, and it's going to bring up, you know, if it was... 4,000 XRPs, if you hit 50%, it's only going to show 2,000. And then you just hit 5. And then what's going to happen is there's going to be a green check. It's going to say success. And then again, if you want to get TRX, okay, now I go to TRX, acknowledge that it says TRX up here, acknowledge that it says buy TRX, come down here, I hit Max, Oop, I'm actually going to show you. This was actually too good. Okay, cool. So two, I'm going to hit buy TRX. Oh, total must be okay. So the reason why there's two and it's so small is because you must have at least 0 0.0001 Bitcoin uh, available, and that fell right up there, unfortunately. But that is how you take things out of Coinbase, and that is how you put them into Binance, and then it's an easy, easy sell process. You think of it as you're just selling it off under this BTC, and it's just converting it to um, it's just converting it to a credit, basically that you can use on anything else. So now, what I do after this is. I go back to funds, deposit withdrawals, and then immediately, because I have this blue box checked, I can see, okay, maybe before I had like 9,000 uh, coins, now I've got like 11,000 coins here, and then XRP, I can see the difference there as well. It updates instantly once you already have your currency uh, inside of here. Once, once you uh, change the Ethereum to Bitcoin, and then you use the Bitcoin credit to buy the TRX and the XRP, it's just super instant, and uh, you don't even need to hit refresh, but you just always hit, uh, always hit refresh to see you know, where you are, where you stand, sanity wise. But um, that's pretty much it. I have everything that I have now in Binance. I took everything out of Bitrix, and what I'm doing only putting money in through Coinbase and Coinbase the lag right now is about four or five days 
I used to put money in through Bitstamp, but they're backed up like more than a week. So just put money in through Coinbase, have it come in three to four business days, transfer the money over from Litecoin, Ethereum, or Bitcoin on the accounts tab. Just hit send, it's going to pop up a message. And then again, all you do is okay, if I want to, um, if I want to deposit Litecoin, say I sent Litecoin over this time, I just hit deposit. It would give me this code. I go back here. I hit send here. I plug it in. I hit send. Okay, great. Come back here. Check out the history tab. You're going to see it in yellow here. And the total transfer time is about 10 to 15 minutes tops. Once it's in there, go back here. You're going to see it be available. Then you're going to go to the exchange, just go to basic. And you're going to take Litecoin LTC. Okay. Right there. I'm under Litecoin. Got it. And now all you're doing is I'm selling all the Litecoin. Max 100%. Sell. Boom. It's going to say green check mark. At that point, you got everything in there, all your Litecoin credits in there. So now, say I wanted to buy XRP, XRP, boom, right here, buy XRP, come out, whatever you want to buy, buy, boom, got it. And again, it's always going to tell you your, the amount you have there, it's going to tell you your conversion there, and then use these little tabs. You know, if I've got two things in mind and I want to spend, you know, my Litecoin credit in general, half and half on XRP and TRX, okay, buy XRP at 50%. Buy TRX at 50%. Okay, it's all done. Perfect. I go back to funds. I check everything out here. I monitor everything I have under just the blue check mark. And that's it.